Okay guys, in a way we're going to be revisiting a previous uh, kind of video topic that I have discussed before a little bit, and that was my favorite bushcrafting knives for 2020 and 2021. Now in that video I talked about uh, a lot of knives that are kind of hard to obtain either by price or by rarity. So in this video I'm going to be talking about budget offerings that are far easier to obtain and much more reasonably priced. Now in this video, similar to the original premise of the first video, none of these knives are brand new and the reason why I'm doing that is because I don't like saying, you know, best knives for this year and they're just a whole bunch of brand new, untested and, you know, kind of foreign knives, knives that could be good that aren't necessarily bad knives, but they're just knives that are not really proven. So with each of these knives, they have a track record, they have a kind of background, they're known and they're well loved and very proven in the community. So this isn't necessarily a list of brand new knives, in fact, none of these knives are brand new for the year, but that's done intentionally. So let's take a look at my top four budget knives for 2021. Okay, so the first one is going to be the Cold Steel SRK in its many different iterations. Now another one, uh, if you're looking for something a little bit smaller, the SRK is also uh, in a compact or SRK C, so that's a little bit smaller. But the reason why I chose the SRK for this one is because it is the largest of the knives. So either the SRK or SRK C, uh, are basically the same blade, same steel, same grind, same basic treatment. It's just the compact is a little bit smaller. So the SRK SRKC is my pick for a large knife or first pick in general. This is a very well proven knife. It's been out for a few decades now and uh, it's not going anywhere. It really checks off a lot of uh, marks on any list you put it on, whether it's a survival or bushcrafting blade. This thing is very durable, very tanky, but yet still has a full rubberized grip, so it's comfortable in the cold, it's comfortable in the heat, and whether it's wet or dry, you're still going to get amazing traction out of this knife. So the SRK slash SRKC is just an impossible knife to really beat, especially for its sub $50 price range. So amazing budget-oriented knife. And there's actually a lot of cold steel knives out there, stuff like the Recon Tanto, that are great knives to kind of play around with and use and super budget. Okay. Okay, so now moving on to the next one, which is slightly smaller and actually more in line with the size of the SRKC, and that is the Mora Bushcraft Black. Now this one could also be substituted for the Mora Companion, the Mora Robust. Um, the Mora Companion, I think it's XL or something like that. Uh, there's a lot of knives that have this same basic blade. The reason why I choose the Bushcraft Black for me personally is once again, it's still right around the same price range as the SRK. And I think it has improved ergonomics, it has a fully rubberized grip, and uh, it's very comfortable to me. It's something that I throw in my pocket. Even when I'm running my more expensive knives, I still carry this one too, because it's an amazing little workhorse. And that's more of a medium duty, medium sized knife. So now stepping down to a smaller knife, uh, something that would be more of a neck knife. And I think that this would be something that you might want to use if you are running a good saw and a good axe slash hatchet setup. Uh, if you're really looking for a knife to do more intricate carving work, um, processing game animals, if that's really what you're looking for and less of a camp knife, I think that the Mora Eldris is one of the better choices for a very small knife. Uh, the Essie Azula is okay. The Topps MSK I would shy away from, but the Azula is a little bit more expensive. So the top or the Mora, the Mora Eldris is uh, just a really great tiny knife and is great for crafting if you want a fixed blade. It also, unlike a lot of other smaller knives, has a great handle that is not only thick enough, but long enough that you feel that you have a full, secure grip on it. So the Mora Eldris is my small knife pick. And also with the Eldris, it still has a sharp spine for throwing ferro rods too. Almost forgot to mention. Okay, so those are the three primary knives. The next one is kind of a runner-up, if you will. It's still a valid option, and it's still, once again, in the more budget line, easy to find, and um, 
definitely a realistic knife for bushcrafting, but it, since it is a folder and not a fixed blade, it's a runner-up. So for me, it's personally the Victorinox Hiker. Once again, this is still definitely budget-oriented, um, but the Hiker is good for a lot of reasons in bushcrafting. Not only do you have a pretty good main blade, but you also have a secondary kind of pen blade. So it's going to be good for crafting and processing game animals and doing light duty tasks. But then again, you also have a small saw that you can craft with. You have scissors, you have a whole bunch of different tools, even an awl and a corkscrew, which you can use to, you know, once again, process or craft wood. And so this is a great little tool if you're looking for something that's a little bit more crafty than any of these fixed blade offerings. And if you have a good solid um, saw, if you have a good main saw, hatchet, and axe to run with, then a Victorinox is really all you need. So you don't necessarily need a big, thick, heavy duty uh, knife like these uh, if you have the other tools to do their proper and respective jobs. So that is a runner-up, but it is still definitely a very valid offering, and it can be had for I think around I think around thirty-ish dollars, like maybe forty to thirty dollars. I always get these price estimates way wrong, and people correct me in the comments all the time. But I don't necessarily check the uh, price right before I post. I check the price that I paid when I got it. So, anyways, guys, that is my top four. And uh, like I said, this one's a little bit more of a runner-up, but these three cover all, all the different size bases for what you're looking for. And if you are wanting to run small and compact, the Victorinox is definitely there. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video, and as always, God bless, and I'm out.